In this video, I'll be talking about the movement in and out of cells. So what is diffusion? Diffusion is the random movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration down the concentration gradient until equilibrium is reached. So what affects the rate of diffusion? These are concentration gradient, the temperature, the surface area, and the distance traveled. Now we can move on to osmosis. Osmosis is basically the movement of water molecules from a region of high water potential to a region of low water potential through a partially permeable membrane. The words highlighted are the key terms of this definition. Now let's look at how osmosis affects plant cells. On the far left, we have a plant cell that is turgid because water has moved into it causing it to swell up. Then we have a cell that has not changed in shape or size because it's been in a solution with the same concentration. Then we have a cell in a concentrated solution and this cell has become flaccid because water has moved out. After that we have a plasmolyzed cell and this happens when the plant cells lose way too much water and so the cell body or the cytoplasm is pulled away from the cell wall. Finally, we have active transport. So active transport is the movement of particles through cell membrane from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration against the concentration gradient using the energy released during respiration. So the difference between active transport and diffusion is that active transport requires energy and is moving from low concentration to high concentration whereas diffusion doesn't require energy and it moves from high concentration to low concentration. So here's an example of active transport in the root hair cell. As you can see, the mineral ions in the soil is not as concentrated as the mineral ions in the root hair cell. So due to active transport, the mineral ions move into the root hair cell.